I didn't have to spend a dime today. I just shopped my home and pulled out all of my seasonal decor to set up my outdoor living space portion of my deck. As I said earlier, I didn't have to spend a dime. It just cost me sweat equity. So I pulled out all my seasonal decor. I just needed to wash everything off and set up my outdoor living space. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Today I have a great video lined up for you. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Be sure and leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you and I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you my 2020 outdoor living space idea. It's a partial deck refresh. This video is in participation with the 2020 Outdoor and Decor Challenge hosted by the DIY Mommy. I will leave a link to Christina's channel down below in the description box along with the playlist so that you can see the other participants participating in this challenge.
let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'll have some additional photos from this video on Instagram. Stop by. I truly enjoy recreating my seasonal outdoor living space. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Leave me a comment. This wire table I got from Big Lots. The citronella candle is something, again, everything here I already had and I just shopped my home. The citronella candle came from HomeSense. The deck furniture itself came from Lowe's. 
The You Are My Sunshine pillows came from Target. The Gather Sign. The Gather Sign came from Home Sense. The Little White House over in the corner came from Target. The Garden Gnomes came from Big Lots. The trees are something that I've had for quite a while. I can't remember where I came where it came from. Again, the deck furniture, my glider, and uh, the pillows came from Lowe's. Over in the corner, I have a topiary. The topiary balls came from Hobby Lobby. So did the so did the greenery from Hobby Lobby. No. Yeah, the the topiaries came from Hobby Lobby, and so did the greenery. And again, that garden. Um, that garden, what is it? That fairy garden house came from Big Lots. Another pillow from Target. This lantern came from Home Sense. And that, um, this table was a set of three that I got from Big Lots. And again, another faux uh, home plant. My flower centerpiece it is a Mother's Day gift. The uh, strawberry lemonade, which I will leave the recipe to down in the description box, and the apothecary jar that it is in came from Michael's. The drinking glasses that I have here came from the Dollar Tree. The magazine is Home and Design. And I DIY'd, I DIY'd the farmhouse wouldn't be garland. This is a small sitting area on a much larger deck. I love it. I want to thank Christina of the DIY Mommy for inviting me to participate today. I always enjoy participating in Christina's challenges. That's it guys, we're all done. I love the way it turned out, it's absolutely beautiful. Now I am going to sit down and have some lemonade and enjoy my outdoor space. If you enjoyed it too, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Make sure you leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. And I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And remember, check me out on social media. Instagram, Pinterest, my blog, and my website. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!